Pala political editor Kartike Sharma is on the phone line with us on that big story. Kartike, R.K. Singh may be now a BJP leader, a BJP member, but these are very, very serious allegations that he has leveled against his former boss. See, uh, not only these allegations are, uh, are very serious, but then uh, uh, the most important takeaway is that uh, it's unprecedented that a former Home Secretary says that he was uh, forced by his boss to not to perform his duty and that too in a case directly related with IPL and a suspect being close to Daud and he didn't protest. Uh, so, you know, not only it calls for an explanation on part of Sushil Kumar Shinde, but then there are a lot of questions because you see, uh, once, once, you are, once you are the Home Secretary or uh, you have occupied the position of a Defence Secretary, uh, there, there, is a, there is an oath of secrecy. Yeah. And then the job also requires, Rochika, that uh, if there is a course correction required, you also do it then and there. So coming before the elections also cast uh, a different light on the allegations made by Mr. Singh and it also makes it incumbent on Mr. Sushil Kumar Shinde to clarify his position. So I, I would say that there is a bigger picture here that as to how a former Home Secretary or former civil servant uh, can uh, react or, or behave uh, differently in context of Lok Sabha elections. So I think it merits a wider debate on the behavior of retired bureaucrats, uh, ministers interfering in day-to-day -day functioning of the bureaucracy, and the fact that now he has joined a different party and, and, and coming out with all these allegations. And then the question also begins that why didn't he protest at point, that point of time because it pertained to national security. Uh, Kasake, sp specifically to this case, of course, uh, you have an accusation from a former Home Secretary uh, who is obviously privy to these incidents, saying that a minister, effectively, he's saying a minister abused his position and his power to, sh to in interfere in a criminal investigation. That is a, a potentially, uh, that is something that can, that can take the minister to court. That can take court and it can also take the former Home Secretary to the to court because ultimately the statement that he interfered uh, means that Mr. Singh also acquiesced, uh, yes. that he gave in. So you know it's not going to stop with Sushil Kumar Shinde, that's the point I was trying to make there, that it's not going to stop with Mr. Shinde. Obviously there's a strong allegation against him and he needs to come out and clarify, but the fact is that the subsequent behavior of Mr. Singh during his tenure as to why did he not protest, because oath is not to the Home Minister. Oath is to the constitution of the country. Oath is to the republic. So Mr. R.K. Singh will, uh, will have to clarify as to why he didn't bring it to the higher authorities, notice to the higher authority, and there's a protocol. Uh, R.K. Singh could have gone to CDC. R.K. Singh could have involved cabinet secretariat. Specifically, R.K. Singh could have involved the cabinet secretary. So, you know, uh, addressing mechanisms are available within the system, but it didn't do that. Now he's, he has joined Bharati Janta Party and he has made these revelations. So it's like there are three things here. Why is he saying this now? Mr. Shinde has to uh, give a clarification. And third, what should be the relationship between a bureaucrat and a minister at a high position like this? And what about his oath of secrecy? All right, no. just one uh, more question before I let you go, Kartike. Are we expecting a response from Mr. Sushil Kumar Shinde? Like you mentioned, it's now incumbent on the Union Home Minister to explain his posi position as well after these uh, serious allegations have been heaped on him by his uh, former Home Secretary. I think Mr. Shinde, Mr. Shinde is in Sholapur uh, in his family constituency uh, celebrating Makar Sankranti. Uh, but uh, Mr. Shinde uh, will have to uh, explain... Uh, uh, all of this, Mr. Shinde uh, will have to come out with a statement on this subject. He'll have to deal with it very, very politically. Karthike, many thanks uh, for getting us uh, that uh, perspective there on this story. Uh, certainly, as Karthike mentioned, not something that will be going away anytime soon.